Hey guys, I'm back. And as you guys know, I'm pretty much a casual guy, you know, just like you guys. I put my shoes on one nub at a time. And uh, I usually go downstairs and just get myself some good old breakfast. You know, sometimes I would normally just get myself a can of whoop ass. You know, the basic. But sometimes I'm just like, I feel a little special that those days, and I'm just like, you know what? Time to get myself some good old cereal. And as I got down my cereal, I realized some cereals fucking suck. I'm not gonna lie, man. So, I decided that after I had my good old Fruity Pebbles, that I was gonna go make a cereal tier list. And I'm gonna show all of you guys the real cereals out there. Like, I, I know, I know, I, I'm expressing my opinion. I know that's very scary in these days. It's 2020. We can't do that shit anymore. And I just want to say now, this cereal list is 100% factual. Everything on this list will be nothing but 100% fact. And if you don't see your favorite cereal here, it's either suck, I hate it, or I never tried it. Alright, let's get into this. Alright, first things first, Apple Jacks. Not gonna lie, I remember having Apple Jacks when I was just a little kid, you know. Always just going down the stairs, just making sure I get the cereal from the fridge first, you know. And I don't really remember having like any like really good good memories with apple jacks like i mean like yeah it's a it's an all right cereal but not like anything that's like yeah i would go out of my way to just get this off the shelf eh, it's just an okay cereal for me it's mid at best so i'm giving it a c next up is a pretty decent one like i i, I have good experiences with this one lucky charms now i'm not gonna lie to you i always remember the commercials of lucky charms you know jack Septicai always running away from them kids who was trying to take his lucky charms you know how it is and all the marshmallows inside and um i even remember the ones with the unicorns the unicorns taste like shit, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, maybe like a good B. Like, it's an alright cereal, I just hate the fucking white stuff in it, you know? The little cum flakes. If, you know, if they just got rid of that and just put, like, the marshmallows, it would definitely be higher on this list. Ah, uh, Trix. A good cereal. I, I just gotta say this, Trix is one of the best cereals out there. I, I, I just gotta say it how it is, this is true. And if any of you think otherwise, you're just wrong, alright? Like, who would forget the commercials where the rap is just always trying to get the freaking cereal from the kids, and he's just, and the kids are just always like, silly rap, and tricks are for kids, and I'm just like, I always remember that commercial every time I'm eating tricks, and I mostly have a good time eating tricks. You know, it's sweet, the cereal is colorful, and I personally enjoy it, and I enjoy having it for breakfast. Anytime I would see it on the shelf, I would always try my best to see if I can get it off there and into my stomach. Tricks gets an S tier for being godlike cereal. Alright, next thing, Fruity Pebbles. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I fucking love Fruity Pebbles, alright? Now, unlike their other counterpart, Cocoa Pebbles, I should die in a pit. Fruity Pebbles are actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I could say I really dislike about them is that they're so freaking small. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but oh, I said not. I have a good time eating Fruity Pebbles. I like you dry, I like with milk. It's, bas it's basically everything you could ask for with a cereal, and it basically gets an A from me. Cocoa Pebbles. I can begin to describe to you guys the anger I feel every time I see Cocoa Pebbles in my store. So I'm just gonna let the one woman from SpongeBob tell you my opinion about Cocoa Pebbles and chocolate in general. Sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. So yeah, instant F tier. Shit cereal. Honey Bundles of Oats. I fucking love this cereal, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Honey Bunches of Oats is like hella good, alright? I love eating it with milk, I love eating it dry, and sometimes I sometimes I even sometimes pick out some of the some of the little grain parts of it and eat it, and I'm just like, God damn, this is a gift from God. This cereal is like one of the best cereals out there and it's freaking healthy too. So one of my things about cereals, I love when a cereal is healthy and it's fucking delicious. So this thing gets an instant S tier from me. Ah, raisin brands. So let me tell you guys a little something about Raisin Bran. See, I used to fucking hate this cereal as a kid. I just did not like it. But for some reason, for some god awful reason, as I got older, I tried it again. And I fucking like this cereal, dude. It's fucking delicious. I love eating it with the raisin raisins. Yes, yes. It. I even try it without the milk. It's still hella good. And it's a really healthy cereal for you. You know, I, I freaking like Raisin Bran. Freaking delicious. It gets an A tier for me. Good cereal. Fruit Loops. Now I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I fucking hate Toucan Sam. I think he needs to die. Like I, I don't know what we gotta do to get rid of him. You know, next snap. 
bird rape, wh whatever it takes. Just I, I just want this fucker gone. But um, aside from that, the cereal's pretty good. Like I eat it all the time. It's pretty colorful. It's whatever. It's just some O's that turn gay, basically. And they're all right. Pretty sugary. I, I like them in the morning. I give it a C. Eh, screw it. Let's up that to a B because I actually do like this cereal. All right. Next thing next, Frosted Flakes. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not I'm much of a big fan when it comes to Frosted Flakes. It, it's just, eh, it's not for me. Also, um, Tony the Tiger, um, I think is one of the worst cereal mascots I've ever seen in my entire life. He's just a tiger and he was too pussy to tell us if he was gay or not. And he left Twitter. But, um, yeah, um, again, Frosted Flakes, uh, it's not really my cup of tea. And also, the video me Canyon made about it is, it, it, it scarred me. Who's my little piggy, huh? Who's my little piggy? I am. Yes, that's right. That is, uh, that's right. Yeah, come here. Look at this. Come on. They're great. So I'll give it a C. No, actually a D. OG Cheerios. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I hate OG Cheerios. It, it, it just does not taste good at all. Like, come on. Like, like, like guys, look at this. Look at this. 100% oats. Yeah, fuck no. This thing tastes terrible. It sucks. Cheerios have, need to step up their game. This is trash. Stop making the cereal. It gets an instant E tier. Honey Nut Cheerios. Now, this is where the Cheerios brand steps off its game. Now, Honey Nut Cheerios, unlike its terrible predecessor, I actually like it. It actually tastes good. I like the honey with the 100% O's or whatever they call it. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I'd give it I'd give it a strong C. Still not something I would like go out of my way to get, but it's alright. Oh, hang on guys. Give me give me one quick second. I, I, I don't know how this one got here. Pops. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. Pops is a bit of a... It's a bit of an iffy cereal for me. I like it dry. It tastes kind of good dry, but um... The commercials always used to weird me out as a kid, and I don't really like it with milk, and it gets soggy too quick. So, um, gonna have to give Pops a hard C on this one. It, it's just not my cup of tea when it comes to cereal, but it's alright. It's alright. Alright, next we got up is Rice Krispies. Now look, I wanna like Rice Krispies. I think it's a bit interesting that the cereal does like the weird like popping thing when you like put it in milk. I think that's cool, but... The cereal does not taste good. It's just not good. Um, Kellogg's need to step up its game when it comes to Rice Krispies because the, the cereal, it's not that it's not that good now. The other Rice Krispies stuff, that's pretty good, but the cereal, uh, no. I give the OG Rice Krispies a hard E and Cocoa Rice Krispies goes an F where it belongs. Ah, Cookie Crisp. Another trash cereal. Okay, look, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanna like Cookie Crisp, but I'm not gonna lie. It's just cookies for breakfast, dude. Like, come on, man. If I wanted cookies for breakfast, I just would have gotten some. Like, I, I, I'm not. I don't want cookies for breakfast. All right. Cookie Crisp gets an E from me. I don't like the cereal. Honeycomb. My overall experience with Honeycomb is just. It, it's very. It's a very bland cereal. There's nothing good about it. Like, I vaguely remember the commercials for it. And I remember when I was a little kid, I was like, I can't wait to try this stuff. And it was just not good. So I'm just going to give Honeycomb an E tier. Reese's Puffs. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know I said I didn't like chocolate. But here, it's not that bad. I actually like it with its com combination with the peanut butter. It's just great. And I know you guys remember those commercials from when you were a kid. What's that? I always just remember those and I'm just like, hell yeah, this cereal was fucking bomb. This cereal gets a B from me. I still eat it to this day and I think it's pretty good. Frosted mini wheats. I like them. I like them without milk and with milk. They're pretty good. I always like trying them. They're pretty crunchy and I don't think I have a bad experience with this cereal. I definitely get it if I saw it there on the shelf, but it's not really up there when it, when it comes to a cereal. So it gets a B from me. It's a pretty alright cereal. I like it. Cocoa Puffs. Okay guys, let's get this over with. You guys know I don't like chocolate. Eat your cereal. Trash. Also, it gave my favorite Virgin Carson a nosebleed, so um, yeah, no. Eat your cereal. Trash. No! 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 no!
<laughs> Count Chocula. Now, Count Chocula is a bit of a weird one for me. Like, I don't like chocolate, but I'm not gonna lie to you. This is actually a pretty good cereal. Like, it's like Lucky Charms, but chocolate, basically. And I think it's pretty alright. Like, I'm not gonna lie, and I think it's pretty cool how you mostly gotta get it, like, around Halloween time. I think that's a bit, like, I, I don't know, I just think that's kinda cool. So, Count Chocula, it gets a it gets a decent C from me. Like, I, I think it's a good cereal. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, Cinnamon Toast Crunch is a bit of an, another weird one for me. I don't- I think there's too much cinnamon in Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but at the same time, it's a pretty okay cereal, like, I, I kinda enjoy eating it, but it, it's not up there for me, so, I think this does have to be another one, I would probably give, like, a strong C, like, it, it's an alright cereal, like, it's not the best, it's not the worst, so, yeah, I'll, I'll give this one, like, a strong C, it's an alright cereal, and overall, I think this is my tier list when it comes to cereal. I think it's a pretty decent one. Now let's go show this to people so they can yell at us. Hell yeah, because I know that's what everybody here has been waiting for. Oh, uh, hey guys. So, um, I, I, I've... Yeah, I, I, I came here to show you all my cereal tier list, and I kind of want to see what you all are going to say. Alright, so what do you all think? Let me see what's in there. It's already, it's already, it's already what pretty trash. Whoa. I just looked at it. Why is Coco Pebbles? Whoa! <gasps> You're gay! <kidding. laughs> first, okay, first of all, can we, can we tell you all the ones that do not need to be paid? I'm gonna go from top to bottom. <laughs> tricks, trash. No, tricks is delicious. No, okay, okay. Yeah, honey bunches of oats. Good. That, no, Turn honey bunches good. kind of bust. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I want to put it at, I want to, I want to say S tier, but I'm going to say Bro, honey bunches of oats is delicious, bro. It's like healthy and Ray good for you. It's still like people, people don't like people. people nah, nah, Fruity Pebbles no, is good. Fruity Pebbles, nah. Nah, Fruity Pebbles. Nah, but Fruity Pebbles bust, but they're not better than Cocoa Pebbles. I'm nah, like, nah, Cocoa F Pebbles is F tier. Trash cereal. No, actually, no, no, Cocoa, no, Cocoa Puffs, not good. Not that Whoa. for real. Oh yeah, the Cookie Crisp, hell no. Honeycomb, nah. Hell no. You got honeycomb. Okay. Whoa, why is honeycomb down there? Uh, trash. Okay, honeycomb is trash. For me, for me, everything in F tier and E tier are pretty much all right <laughs> to me. <laughs> but then what is wrong with you? Frosted Flakes <laughs> needs to be in triple S tier. Frosted no. Flakes is a triple Frosted S tier. Frosted Flakes, I do not Frosted like Frosted Flakes. Frosted 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 no, Frosted Frosted they're Frosted not. Good. No, they're not. <laughs> I, I hate any cereal that has, that has Frosted in it. Bro, Cheerios? The original Cheerios. Is no, original Cheerios is AIDS. Now, Honey Nut Frosted Cheerios. Frosted Frosted honey Nut Cheerios. They are good. They are great. Honey Nut Materials no, are they're not. They deserve to be at C at best. Captain, Cru Captain, Crunch. The whole Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch. The, the because I hate the whole Captain Crunch line. The only Captain Crunch I like is the peanut 